excellent thank you okay so good evening everyone i am sure uh, something really nice is going to be next uh, few minutes and uh, most of you will definitely learn the financials part of uh, not in terms of accounting not in terms of you know whether you are talking about uh, uh, management part accounting part and this kind of things here today we are going to talk about the fintech why technology is important and when it merge with the fin financials things so it becomes a fin fintech so why it is important how exactly it's impacting um, to you know different different segment uh, if we are talking about the job creations if we are talking about the economy things if we are talking about the future perspective of the fintech we are going to cover in this session now we start so what is fintech so okay let me describe in other way around i am not going to read something for you guys and let me describe in something uh, think about a women uh, they maybe uh, let's say before 30 years back we are talking about 30 or 20 years back women was in our society they were really closed with the environment they cannot do such things they were they were not free enough to do such things to work to come into the um, job market and other thing around but now if we are talking about the women and uh, when we especially in technology when we talk about there is a special term we use, use that is women in tech so on the, the the same reference i am talking so now women and men they both are working together they are working head to head they are doing a lot of things which uh, is uh, growing with the economy and other thing around so that's what i'm trying to explain you so in last 30 years now women in nutshell women are you know uh, they have a power to describe themselves at the same way when we are talking about fintech so fintech the financial thing let's let's talk about again the 20 30 years back when uh, if you guys heard i'm sure most of uh, over here are youngster they could not see the 30 years back journey but at least we can uh, get this kind of information from our elders where we usually heard like okay 30 years bank, back banking was itself is a very difficult task so having a bank account was really such a big thing then doing the transactional things then doing the something on not online but you know quick enough that was a time when you know someone then you can open a bank account if you know someone then you can do your financial transactions you can fulfill your financial dreams that was a journey now think about the today's journey i'm sure most of you might have a ptm account might have a google pay account or at least a good bank account in our country everything we have with the banking system where the technology is working behind on your fingertips let's say you are tapping something and you are getting done that's what the true market and uh, before we go ahead i am really really because you know uh, i'm so excited to be an indian i'm so happy i'm indian you know why as an indian as an asian or you know we always think the technology itself is a from you know western countries especially from north american market they are uh, always ahead from us no but this time we are when we are talking about fintech we indians are doing really really great great job we are doing such a um, innovations we are doing so um, you know out ball parks all all together game changing things let me give you some example so in in us or let's say north american market still banking system is so matured but when we are talking about indian market we are mature definitely but we are ahead in terms of mobile banking in terms of uh, something like applications which we usually now we see and one example i would like to give you over here which is upi i'm sure um, i wish we guys can interact over here but yes this is a webinar otherwise uh, i could easily ask the upi is something which almost everyone must be know about that apurva can we do interaction over here is it possible for you yes of course so we uh, we have the chat box open so uh, uh, okay. i request attendees to uh, type in chat and i think i can shout out for you uh, I, I see the uh, question answer tab uh, well open so okay. you can go ahead with the question and we'll we'll see if uh, attendees can uh, interact on the chat box and and i would recommend you if there is something interesting coming in the chat box you can please ping me or maybe you can direct me interrupt me at that time 
Yes, so, so in, in that case, what we can do is we can also give control back to the attendees and they can, they, they'll be able to unmute themselves. So that facility is yes, there. That would, be, that would be excellent. Let's try to interact with this session instead of I'm just speaking and they're listening something. I'm okay with that. Yes. So I request uh, attendees, if uh, anyone wants to uh, speak up uh, and uh, do interaction, just uh, raise your hand, which is there on the on, on your app. We can uh, unmute, uh, we can give the control back to you and you can unmute yourself and interact with uh, all of us. Thank you. Thank yes, you, please go ahead. Yes. Okay. So in nutshell, if we're talking on the FinTech, so FinTech today, let's say you want to transfer currency, you want to do some transactional thing when you want to talk about the financial part, you can do it on your fingertips. Again, I'm repeating fingertips. It's just like using your mobile phone or some device. You can just get it done your task. So that is a, a core concept of fintech and that's why it is a financial with technology that become a fintech let's move to the another thing so here are the things which uh, uh, i would urge you to see all of this information can be really helpful so now let's talk about fintech but where exactly it is fintech is it something like only bank or something like okay fintech is something where People are doing transaction. We don't know about fintech. Why should we know? We don't need banking or something like that. No, no, no. Wait. Let's talk about the fintech in different different segments. So, okay. I'm sure one of the popular terminology now these days is blockchain. I don't go. I don't want to go into the blockchain now. But again, it's a part of fintech. Second, a Paytm. Sorry, payments. So when you are talking about the payments, you know, again, the same thing. If you're transactional something, if you're sending something, if you're receiving something, that's are the payments. That those are the things exchange, the currency exchange from USD to uh, British pound, from USD to Canadian dollar. This kind of exchange. The research. Now this is something interesting. I'm sure most of you are a student. Let's say uh, ahead in the time, maybe next two three year down the line, somebody is from PhD background. They want to do something on fintech research. You can't even imagine a single fintech research can bring economy to the next level the question is how because the fintech is something which is not covered as of now the fully covered we, we cannot say okay we are here now we know each and everything about the fintech no still we are evolving something still we are coming up with a new uh, some new concepts new transactional way of working maybe in down the line you will see some more way of working in banking itself because banking is one of the best example where you can connect the user with the normal aura. Okay, let's go for the digital money, which you are using now these days, like uh, coins and other things. Maybe you heard about the bitcoins and other things. The online banking. This is one of the simplest example. I'm sure now these days, if you would like to transfer something, even the bank people will uh, promote you or maybe they will, um, uh, you know, the right word, they will suggest you go and do the rtgs go and do the neft why you are coming over here why you are writing the checks so that is on an online banking investments um, i'm sure now these days you can see a lot of mobile applications around uh, you know just give me a second so you can see the applications are coming which is especially for the investment part now what is the investment investment part is like i'm sure you must be heard about zero the you might be know about grow those are the applications where you can do all kind of investment okay let's say uh, you want to invest something in market the, i'm talking the financial market okay previously you have to call someone you have to guide them you have to ask them you know the lot of uh, hazy process were there now again tap the thing you want to buy the investment has been there the same way if you want to open the fd rd ppf a lot of other instruments of the financial part you can get it done. This again, this terminology, this branch is into the fintech and crowdfunding. This is something really, really interesting. And I'm I'm willing to see our country and especially you guys uh, can see a game changing thing in the next few years. The crowdsourcing and crowdfunding is something. OK, let me give you the example. There are something which there is an idea to develop a kind of pay team application and I don't have a money so I can go to 10 people they can fund me maybe 10 10 percent everyone and then i can bring that money and i can create so that is a crowdfunding it might be they don't you know they will not take any uh, interest or any profit out of that but it's sometime you know the crowd is willing to give their money 
for some good cause. It is not about the BTM, but you know, the cause has to be justified there. So, okay, let's talk about the banks. So think about a bank with FinTech or without FinTech. So here you can see without FinTech, this the normal process. Bank have a singular control over the entire bank have control on your investment, your transactional things, your entire process. You don't have a control. But when we talk about the FinTech, yes, people have a more control and access of their money. You are king of your you know, banking system. You don't have to go somewhere and ask, should I do this thing? Can I do this and that? Because now you can do transactional, you can do whatever the bank activity at your home, maybe at the midnight or maybe you're traveling out of the country and you can do that. That's the best part of uh, FinTech. So transactions are laborious and time consuming. Yes, it is like you have to go, you have to be in queue, queue. you have to stand for maybe next uh, two uh, for one hour. Sometime you will go and they will say, okay, sorry, we are on lunch time. We can't do something. So this kind of process was, you know, earlier people were facing this still at some places, still people are facing, but what is the best way to do that? Use the FinTech app. Probably bank have their own app. That is a FinTech app. You can do the transactions in easy, all of your transactions over there. Now, let's say you are going into the bank. They have done something for you. You have uh, rotted down the check and they are depositing for you. Can you access from your own home the, you know, the tracking system? Okay, I'm at home and now I would like to go and I will, I will check. Is it possible my bank have proceeded that thing very exactly? It is it cleared or not? Did I receive money or not? Maybe in the banking terminology, we can understand this part. But let's say other way around when we have a fintech because fintech is like a magic. So, you know, let's flow with the fintech like a magic. Yes, I'm absolutely right. This is a magic to now these days because I'm sure you guys can't even imagine 20, 30 years back life where people were facing a lot of issues. And now it's very easy. So for us, fintech is some magical thing which we, we are handling. So all financial transactions, or documentations part can easily track with your mobile application, maybe with the, your web app and other things. So let's talk about the history. Like, is it something FinTech is the first time we are using or this terminology is the first, just like a AI ML, because people a lot of know like artificial intelligence is something new. We are not going to cover artificial intelligence over here, but I'm just giving an example. Like AI ML concept was, you know, introducing somewhere in 1956 around. It is not a 2020 topic. So that's how FinTech is something not new. Somehow, some other way we were doing. For an example, the first telegraph. So telegraph is was the process. The electric telegraph was introduced in 1838. I'm sure now you guys calculate the years and you can realize, okay, we are here. So it's not new. At the 1950s, there was a universal credit card launch. It's a dinner's club in US. And that's how the people are using credit card. And, you know, but can you believe still in India, we are not using that much credit card. Still, we are in something different where we are evolving everyday credit card. Hardly, I guess, I'm not sure about the exact number, but probably somewhere around two or three percent people might have a credit card now. Still, India have a long journey to do that. So that's again goes to the bucket of scope goes to the bucket, bucket of the new opportunity for the country. Let's come to the 1982. So in 1982, there was a first trade platform that was a trade plus. It was the online brokerage platform, just where the share market things, the people can buy the share, they can pay some percentage out of that and they can do the transactions. Not in terms of good UI and uh, good UX today, which you can see, that was a really pathetic UX UI at that time. But yes, still, there was a something people instead of going somewhere and they can finish this task. Okay, let's come to 2009. This is this was an interesting year. I'm sure you guys must be know about the Bitcoins. Now, uh, Bitcoins is the pricing are booming like anything which we can't even imagine. Sometime it is a, above 35,000, 50,000, 40,000. But can you imagine? It's hardly... 10 to 12 years. Before I go ahead, I would like to tell you something. The thing is that which this is my experience. And um, when you will go and research about any damn topic, 
related to technology. You will realize that the best part now these days, a startup which is you know started their journey maybe around 2010 or 15, they can jump within a five, 10 years. There was a time when people or maybe the companies, they were also a startup 50 years back, but they took time. The people were not aware about the social media was not there. The technology was not there. So, you know, within it today, 12 years, you can realize the Bitcoins is almost something huge thing for the market. So you can't even imagine down the line, 10 or 12 years, what would be the market for financial? So there, we are in the right stage. We can't say we are late or we are, you know, early at No, we are somewhere where we can start learning fintech. We can go into the fintech sectors. We can get a lot of things out of fintech and eventually everyone now these days, somehow, you know, a small shop owner to a big businessman, everyone is in our country. I'm talking, they are using somehow the printing. I'm sorry for that. So now let's talk about the 2013. Google was the first launch, the Apple Pay, the Google uh, Pay, you guys must be aware about GPay and Apple Pay still in our country. You can realize like it's a 2021, um, but Apple Pay is not uh, as of now where you can do something. Still, we are waiting for the Apple Pay should be workable in our country. It will take time. So this is this is something like a history which you can realize. And through this history, you, you can understand the entire process of FinTech. It's not something new. It evolved. It is started way back. So now let's talk about other countries. Is it something like India is one of the best? Yes. Uh, being an Indian, I will always say we are the, one of the best country in the world. But are we good enough in FinTech? Are we doing something really good? Or are we in, you know, top five or top 10 countries? Let me show you some interesting data. So here are the things. Yes, again, United States is one of the good. So FinTech is not all about the mobile application of Paytm or Google Pay, you guys are seeing. Apart from that, there are other sectors where US is one of the best place and they are always ahead. The other part of uh, the world, which is uh, especially for you guys, you should know about that. The London, you know, UK, that is a, one of the best place for FinTech. They are today, they are like a, one of the best hub for FinTech. Israel, Singapore. So, you know, consecutively you can see now where is the India? Uh, this is the list of last year, the entire ranking in uh, India is somewhere around 23rd position. So should we upset with this thing? Oh my God, we are not in top five, top 10. See, let's be optimistic. I think we should enjoy this part because today we are taking this session and suppose we are top two or top three countries. Is there good enough opportunity then? No. So the best part right now, understand this terminology. You are somewhere in the country where fintech is starting their, you know, their lag into the different different seg segment. You guys can go ahead. You can understand maybe the down the line uh, five years. You will see the entire country is using. Or I can assure you, if things will go in a right shape with the right directions, maybe in next five years we will be at least uh, in the top ten countries for the fintech. And yes, we are doing a lot of innovations. A lot of early adapters now these days are in our country. So what are the impact of the fintech industry, which countries are doing and they are getting this rank? So here are the three things. The one a proximity of opportunity, access of access to talent and network effects. Okay. What is the proximity? So proximity is kind of, you know, a circle. Let's say uh, it's something in circle. So opportunity around the country, around the city, around the opportunity, around the, uh, let's say for in, an, uh, in a simple example, uh, we are, we are in one college. Okay. Uh, and around the college, you will find a good company where after graduation, you can go and take the job and then you can buy a home for your future perspective. That's again nearby your college. So, you know, there is even proximity, maybe hundred kilometers, 50 kilometers. You don't have to travel a lot to get this opportunity. This is the something which those countries have made, especially US, UK, Israel, Singapore, one of the best country for fintech. They have this option. Access to talent. Okay, let's say uh, we are thinking about India should be one of the best country in the world for fintech. We should do. 
and yes everyone you know we are so happy when india is something doing something great but do you think we can be best we can be one of the top countries in fintech unless and until we don't have a right skill power we need a skill people they should know and fintech is not something like a small job when i'm referring a small job it's like okay you have to come here 9 to 10 you have 9 to 5 you have to do certain process and that's it no this is not with fintech fintech is something okay let's talk about fintech is something which is like uh, you should think like engineers you should think like a management people you should good enough with your logical with your intellectual personality so i would say somebody is working in fintech industry he is not just a person who is working he is actually improving overall personality so that's what the talent and i'm sure india need a huge talent is he still a huge talent gap available so this is a opportunity for you guys you should start learning something where one day you will be a hidden slide i will share with you something interesting but understand talented people it's a bare minimum thing which need any of the country and india is you know leverage with this thing we have a huge talent just we have to mold in the right direction that's why we are today and apu and admi up is they are doing the right job they are bringing you on board not to give you some content they want you to make skill scalable they want you to understand cert- certain path okay then the third thing is which is network effects yes it always because you know when we are talking about the us we today us have a different different offices of united state uh, un they have a office of world bank they have a big corporates office over there so it is all about the network it's not like a, a country is becoming first because they have a, a good talent okay uh, all about the proximity opportunity they have it but what about the network also we need and now in last 5 years down the line if you will see about our country we are doing great again maybe in next 5 years we have a good network the big large corporations will be here the good enough data we will have so i'm sure today after this uh, session you guys will realize somewhere this is a country where you know i'm i'm sure this should be you know the reaction of being an indian maybe next 5 or 10 years down the line we will be in top top 5 top 10 of this list so let's talk about the key sectors and trends so these are the sectors when i said sectors so where are exactly fintech can be useful where the fintech is using right now so for the payments for the banking digital lending now the question uh, let's say what is the lending is it the terminology something Uh, different for you guys okay let me give you the simple example when somebody is giving something to other maybe we can say in terms of a bare minimum terminology is a loan or maybe you are giving the financial things to other we, uh, uh, it it can be person to person it can be company to person person to company you know this are kind of so there was a time when people are usually going to one particular person in the city he usually do this kind of work now any damn company can start the digital entire environment and they can start this running because without lending no institution can survive so this has to be you know strong enough backbone of any economy then the wealth management yes all the financial tools fin- uh, your uh, analytical tools your graphs your process this kind of management system mobile application saas based products this all are the fintech products now the insurance i'm sure uh, we indians are not good enough as of now for the insurance lot of people are still confused about what is insurance what is not the insurance should we take or but sorry guys i'm not a insurance expert over here i can tell you one thing at least using this kind of technology where ins- insurance you can compare now you know if we are buying a shirt if we are buying a okay for a bare minimum example so iphone 13 has been launched now do you think people will go and directly they will buy no they will compare a lot of sites there are a lot of things they will compare two products is it good or not is it is it worthful to spend the same thing with the insurance people actually compare their insurance there are good sites i do i uh, let's say give uh, policy uh, market i don't remember the names but okay let's let's say few names are available in the market they are good enough only and only they are doing comparison 
they are showing you. Now the question, think about the 10 years, 20 years back, the downline where people are not even sure. Okay, some person is coming to your home. They will say, okay, sir, this is a insurance you should buy. And people are, okay, let me sign the things and I'll get it done. Okay, this is, after 50 years down the line, they will realize, oh my God, we have bought something bad thing that, that was not a right insurance, but you can't go back and you can do something. So that's my point. Insurance with a FinTech product, FinTech insurance, or let's say how exactly FinTech is helping. The simplest example, you can compare the thing. Before buying, you should know what is right, what is not. The capital market. The capital market is something which is, uh, if, if you guys are good enough with the current scenario and um, now these days if you're reading newspapers and articles, you realize in this COVID, almost all industries were suffering with the financial issues and other things. The one industry where, you know, they were rising, they were getting a lot of things, that was the financial market, the capital market which is like a, in Indian terminology, BAC, NSE, Sensex, and other Nifty 50, a lot of terminologies. I don't want to go into that, but you know what? The people now can buy any damn share with their fingertips. Simple. The FinTech is making their life easy. They can compare the shares, they can buy, they can sell, they can see the progress. And that's why every day you can see the youngsters are booming. The youngsters are starting their investments through the capital market because of fintech technology smb and real estate yes these two sectors again they are getting for the mortgage loan the transaction paper digitalization digitalization people keeping instead of keeping the entire paper as a document now they can digitalize and they can use the, those documents for the fintech purpose now let's talk about the trends so trends are Yes, you guys should understand this point really. Uh, it, it's really important if you are willing to go with the next era where you will be, you know, part of the fintech. Maybe you will do a job, maybe you will start your own startup, something like that. What would be the result of trends? So, the most important task for fintech now is the customer experience. Say, few, I should not give the name of uh, those companies and bank. We are on official channel now. But for an example, few of uh, banking applications, they are such, you can't even imagine. They can't do a simple login process properly. At the same time, the other private player is doing really great. The very smooth experience is over there. The question, is it the customer is happy with them? No. So that's what we have to, we have to come to one solution. So, you know, that will be the bare minimum experience customers should get out of this FinTech applications or FinTech portals. This is a new trend. People are now aware. People are giving their choice because now that time has been gone where people are talking, okay, we need NFT. Can you provide the NFT option? Okay, your application is not giving IMPS. Can you please improve? No. Everyone have this kind of option now. The experience is something. The customer experience is, they are the king maker for the entire industry now. Then the increased investment in the healthcare sector. Healthcare sector, when I'm talking about the health insurance, the other insurance and the products, which healthcare sector is very important. And after this pandemic, after this COVID-19, we are sure we cannot survive unless we will not make our healthcare sector strong enough. So that is the third, second thing. Responsible banking, improvement of the method of working with debtors. Don't go into technicality, but somewhere if you need to take money from someone or if you have to give money to someone for a simple example the banking should you know strong enough maybe down the line if this kind of trend will come up with the ai boards another thing but that is a new trend development of hybrid solution when i'm talking about the hybrid simple example the thing people can people can go and sign the paper or maybe people can do this thing from online itself so you know hybrid it's like when we are talking about the car, the hybrid car is like, it can run on fuel, it can run on uh, electricity. That's a hybrid. So FinTech is a booming industry. So people can do the, their task on their app. At the same time, they can do their entire task. The same similar task offline as well as. Support and distillation of African reason. Why I mention this? Because as you can see, India as an Indian, we can see our country all over here. 
we are really moving fast we are doing a lot of good activities and other things in fintech but at the same time africa as well as in the entire african region they are also improving a lot of us investors even though microsoft and then those kind of uh, big firms they are investing in african region to increase their uh, awareness about the fintech they should do the all transaction using the technology hyper personalization in banking this is something good why because let's say previously you are going to the banking system you are going to the bank you can directly access the bank manager cabin you can discuss have a cup of coffee and tea and you realize okay this is what you are looking for but now the thing has been done different way around the moment you tap into your mobile application you will realize okay you can chat with someone you can call to your manager you can connect over the video call i recently there was one example of one bank they initiated the entire banking to video banking to whatever the process don't call us let's have a video call like this zoom call or something like that they have inbuilt hold in call system in their mobile application where people can do personalized banking with the banking system that's something new banks have become more open and automated building the this distribution network yes that's true so when we are talking about the banks they were skeptical because you know bank itself is an institution where they have to save the things they cannot open the things very easily okay this is a rate this is now it's a competition even they are publishing every day something new at the same time uh, we can realize the automated system the banks are good enough where you know if you want to do some fd process don't worry sir you just tap three column just tap three things the rest of the thing automated you don't have to go somewhere and request for something that's automations especially in banking system strengthening automation in investment fund when we talk about investment maybe uh, the government investment private equity another investment sort there the entire automation is again working what exactly okay somebody is writing i want to get out of this investment maybe down the line 6 year and 3 month now you don't have to go somewhere and request okay sir please can you change your system and can you make it 6 year and 2 month don't worry just tap in your app and you can get it done this automation tool where the entire process will be automated you don't have to call request write an email write a the letters that's what fintech is doing growing demand for expertise in software development working with big data as a high yield the big data itself is a huge thing i wish some other day i can try and let's hope for the best but big data it's something in normal technology there's a huge data something like you guys are doing every day something on your mobile application your computers mobile is a it's you know new organ so you are doing a lot of things over there so entire data the teams are processing the entire software teams the experts are processing that data accordingly they are making their systems accordingly they can understand need of the system so that's what you know the in nutshell not exactly big data is that it's something different concept but you can understand that huge data is playing around the world and the developers are actually taking expertise on that thing as per the data they are working on that and yes this is the most important thing pandemic adoption remote presence in localization today we are here probably we could have a some session and uh, a good conference hall where we can discuss we can but now the world has been changed we are doing this virtually the same way fintech thing is again improving themselves in such a way where all the fintech tasks can be done with remote presence now most important part for you guys the job creations what exactly impact what kind of job fintech pro can provide you is it this something industry which is related to only investment only for uh, commerce people only for a good scientist data scientist maybe only for mba grades no no it's not like that if you would like to go with the fintech industry if you want to learn something calm down let's go to the next so this are the top fintech jobs i would like to share the maybe slightly details about the fintech so here is blockchain which is definitely a way ahead in in terms of india still 
we are you know improving blockchain technology so this is one of the toughest option i can say uh, over here which you can achieve the blockchain developer and they will be the one of the highest payable salary sort of option in our country today they are maybe in next two or three years down the line they will be crowdfunding especially as i said ahead crowdfunding is someone who can fund a particular uh, you know like if you are talking about a, a campaign there is one campaign which which says okay we want to build this thing or we need money for that purpose and then person the specialist person he, he knows the he or she knows the need of the other crowds at the same time the investment opportunity and then the, the fund the risk and compliance expert especially for insurance sector banking financial analyst yes this is the person who do the analysis on each and everything if you have a good uh, excel if you really love to play with the number this is something for you app developer the app developer can be mobile application developer he can be uh, web developer but app is all about developing something using your language skills it can be any language but the developer should good enough in the fintech terminology he cannot be developer from other sector and he can start working easily this is something nice product manager so now few days back i was talking with someone and uh, we realized we were arguing about the product manager this terminology is still people are like, okay okay the person who is coming from the management background he can be the product manager no a product manager itself something huge why i'm saying a person should have a knowledge so okay there is one terminology for product manager let me give you the terminology the product managers are like a mini ceo when we are talking about the ceo the ceo is a chief executive officer who is responsible for the entire uh, startup entire fund entire entire firm entire company he is the main responsible when we are talking about the product manager again the same role comes into the picture so he should expert into design he should expert into the development he should expert into the operations and that's why he is a mini ceo the entire product responsibility always will be with product manager he is a mini ceo always remember this is something a huge and something really nice i'm sure uh, now people are still trying to find and adjust the people where the product manager can go in, uh, into the sector but yes i will discuss with this topic again let's come to the other financial manager a person who is managing your portfolio a person who is managing your banking details banking investments a person who is managing your entire financial things that he will be the financial manager business analyst yes this is one of the uh, best job as of now because a financial person a person from commerce background a person from management background and yes it people especially all those kind of people can go into the business analyst and then this market will be niche accordingly if he's from the it sector he can go into the technology part if he's from the management sector he can go for you know working with a financial manager as a business analyst quantitative analysis and data science data science is something which is really important because data analysis data science data is the new oil we you must be heard about this one so data science is responsible for the tech team it's it's a technology side when we are talking about the quantitative analysis a person who know the numbers who can play with the numbers very well and the entire quantitative research quantitative methods they can use and then he will do the analysis on that So okay, let's talk about the industry. So I'm going to divide this industry into two simple. One is finance, another is tech. Because as we know, it's a fintech. So when we talk about the finance industry, so here are the terminology: financial managers, financial analyst, compliance expert, business analyst, account executive. And here is something for tech. As I said, the mini CEO, product manager, data scientist. apps developer blockchain developer and product manager so what is the fintech future when we talk about the future because i know fintech is uh, when we trying to connect with this terminology sometime we realize okay something which we are doing it's a good enough i am the fintech guy i am working on something best now i know everything about the fintech no it's not like that let's go to the next slide and you will realize 
so what is a fintech let's come to this one first of all so this is a fintech future the big data when i talk about the big data and it's a huge technology it's a huge sector so you know i would say a person who is expert into fintech or if a person is expert into the big data a big data person can handle a lot of things he himself it's a entire branch so getting expertise on big data a big data expert can be fintech expert, but fintech expert cannot be the big data expert i i'm sure you guys getting my point so big data is the new future for fintech hybrid clouds where you know on different different cloud portals for for an example microsoft azure uh, for the aws and then we are working two system at the same time behind the your application that's hybrid clouds api based platforms easy instant payment okay let me give you an example sometimes you know you are trying to scan a code on qr code it's like okay it's rotating or maybe it's showing some error or after the payment click you say okay pay and then again it's rotating sometimes showing the error message so this time consuming process developers the team and companies are working behind it let's try to make it more fast because you know we have a value of the time so we are try trying more faster this process and that's what the new generation will see the easy instant payment if you want to you know maybe uh, the tap it's more than enough the moment you will tap and you know um, pull out your ring, you know, finger from there and you will like okay the payment has been done you don't have to think for the next second unless the payment has been done okay artificial intelligence blockchain prescriptive security wearable this is something nice again wearable okay i'm sure you guys must be know about apple watch android watch apart from that new other companies small like uh, xiaomi and uh, oppo vivo other you know startups and other companies they are coming with their wearable device where you can track your activity you can see the time and other things do you know there will be the time using the wearable device you can do the financial parts let me show you something so here uh, we are talking about the we are talking about the wearable device okay there is one technology i would like to explain here maybe i will take few seconds technology is beacons so beacons is something where it is working proximity when you wear something you have some device without contact for an example let me give you a very nice example now these days you can see on your debit or credit card there is even chip and a lot of time even you know you can uh, tap on the machine and the payment has been detected the same way the wearable device for an example any watch or any wearable device you can just wear the device and maybe you have to tap or you have to put that in front of uh, that device it will get connected and the payment has been done so that is the new generation will see this kind of futuristic approach of fintech that's again come into the same way contactless payment where you don't have to connect or contact or touch something to do the payment 5g 5g can change a lot of things in technology we are you know we are in a great era of this industry where we see 2g 3g 4g and 5g and 5g will be something revolutionary thing we will see for the technology industry regulatory technology and biometrics biometrics especially when you want to do some payments and other thing they can see your retina they can identify your retina and then they can give you access of okay this is something right you can proceed now this kind of things we will see is there something risk in fintech yes there is the one is pure poor security when we talk about the pure poor, poor security you know what is poor security it's not about the system sometimes it's awareness people don't know like where should we pay if it's showing some message is it the right authentic way to pay or you know so i i would say people really need a awareness they have to be educated about fintech they should know how to use particular product and if at least 50% of people are aware about their product and other thing to make the pen i'm sure this risk will be going up so poor security will be no over there poor literacy as i said the literacy 
because of literacy of the financial tool, the security is coming in the picture. And because of these two things, poor adaptability. What is the risk? Let's say I'm, I'm working on one application, which is one of the finest application in our country. You don't need any banking institution application, any payment application. This one application will be more than enough. But what about the people will not adopt that? What about like people will not go with this option? Then there will be the issue. So that is a risk with the fintech. So here is a technology has revolutionized personal finance, giving individual more as and control over the money. Yes, this is true. Let me show you other way around this thing. Can you see this slide? Okay. If you want to order something, if you want to travel, if you want to do study, if you want to pay for your car, for your hotel, everything you can manage with one application. You don't have to go somewhere. And that's that's an easy life, you know. This is what the technology basically on your fingertips or at your home, you don't have to travel somewhere and you can get it and your task. That's what a fintech is helping. So yes, guys, let me stop my screen and I'm sure we are with the time. Of course, yes, I mean, you, you are uh, bang on time and uh, uh, this 56 minutes right on, uh, we started five minutes in the introduction. So uh, uh, let me switch on my video. Yep. So uh, I think we lost someone in the uh, between and there was a good question. Now, uh, of course, there was a slide with where uh, I just uh, noted down uh, because I couldn't see on my screen then after uh, the access to the talent and network. Uh, that was the slide with the three uh, clouds on and uh, what is yeah what is still missing that's the market uh, size where you said about 23 uh, so I'm, I'm little reframing that question but i think the question was uh, what is missing in india access to talent i mean i would believe there is 1.3 billion uh, population here uh, with not many engineers and the management graduates uh, joining us and we'll be seeing on the youtube afterwards so i think uh, can you throw some uh, can you please yes. throw some lights on that that uh, despite of that big uh, number of people and the network and uh, this much uh, technical awareness uh, why are we uh, of course there's a good, a good number of uh, hopes but why are we behind and what's missing sure so let me give you some example over here okay let's go back and let's talk about uh, your product why you are throwing your product? Why you are present in the market? This is a question to you. Why you are in the market? Because you know we are lacking behind because of skills. We have a huge population. Absolutely, we are one of the highest. Uh, you know, young generation country where youngsters are everything for us. They are our assets, right? But only and only when we convert them, when we give them the right direction, and then they can try to get something out of it. Okay. So there was a one time when people like, especially for parents, they, they come into the picture and they say, okay, my son or my daughter, she's doing engineering. That's great. She got this, this much marks in 10, 12. That's brilliant. And now she's an engineer. She's more than enough. Do you believe? I'm, I'm asking to you, let's say, uh, let's talk about something over here. Do you really believe that is a more than enough task to get a good job? For the fintech what do you think no that, that's that's something uh that, that i was i was figuring out that uh fintech financial and technical uh i think uh i had a uh, lot of questions from uh the people when they started registering that uh, fintech what is this because management graduates will understand but the engineering graduates uh, will not understand uh what is tech in this yeah um, i mean of course it people will understand but uh generally they are very confused with fin, fin fin and uh, finance and the tech part and that's where people get confused a lot uh, uh, okay i have a one best terminology for that uh -huh. this is only an only technology which, which gives a bridge between management and it people or maybe technology great and it that's all nicely break. put yes that's nicely put i think yes yes so you can go in any other industry where they will say okay you are from management let's go here for an example of marketing sales uh, it people cannot go directly to the sales and marketing but the best part, IT people can. So that's something a chunk of people can work together on one technology that's a fintech. And why it is so interesting, 
because you know you you should be not expert into something just you need eagerness to learn if you think okay i am graduate from bcom i have not done my mba how can i be a fintech guy of course you can do go and get some good courses online they can contact you maybe you might give them a good courses to, uh, through the particular you know one by one sessions you can give them an entire curriculum and probably in next few months or next few uh, years if they are going for something big they can learn the technology not good enough okay don't learn the technology you are from become keep with your management attitude don't go with the tech but as a management person can so it's it's an hand in hand process a technology and fintech uh, so i'm sorry a technology and management it's a hand in hand process where the fintech i'm sure i'm giving my answer in the right direction for of you. course of course and then the, another question probably i mean i'm i'm uh, trying to put some uh, uh, inquisitiveness into the audience uh, why israel uh, netherlands portugal uh, usa are startup eco more better startup ecosystem whereas uh, the, i mean india should have that you know india I india question. i'm so happy to answer this question yes. let's bring you back to 10 years or maybe 20 years back uh -huh. and i'm saying ki, hey i am kalpesh and i'm not working in mnc i'm not is officer i'm not ips officer i'm talking on 15 10, 10 to 15 years back Hey, I started my startup. What will be the public reaction? Are you serious? He is the guy. World, startup world was not there. I was talking to someone in the morning. In yeah. uh, 2001, the, there was either job, or as you said, IPS, IAS, or nothing. I mean, there there was no career in uh, any other aspect. And you know, I I I met a lot of friends um, around the world, and I realized, okay. startup is something which is like a prestigious thing in their country if i would say okay i am in london and i am talking hey i am having this startup people really recognize you like anything because they realize you actually sacrifice a lot of other things and you are doing something for the country so for me i would say first of all startup is just like joining a military joining an india army you should have a badge on your uh, you, those star on your shoulder it's a almost equivalent thing. yes we are startup guy because we are bringing our economy entire things on the next level so i think that's a reason i realize like uh, those countries are really doing good enough because people get respect out of it when they talk about they they can go publicly even though in in our country lot of poor states still now in b2 cities they cannot talk about with, uh, with with you know they cannot talk with their parents okay i am having startup to so hide unless and until they will become success so that's a reason those countries are really good and they are doing and i'm sure this things are changing now and maybe down the line as i said 5 or 10 years we can see a huge change i'm sure uh, out of this people uh, who are getting this lecture this uh, webinar maybe one day they might have a fintech startup and we might be meet with them So, so yes i was talking to another cohort uh, earlier this afternoon and mm -hmm. uh, amazingly i i never thought people would ask that uh, how do we start how i mean the, are we we are very anxious because the products are all out there say someone wants to start something like uh, the banking thing or net banking thing and they say okay so uh, there were good questions that was engineering cohort earlier this afternoon but i was quite pleased because i said you are really blessed we never had uh questions like this when we graduated so i think this time is proper uh, there is a setup coming up there is a now a uh, lot of ecosystem is helping uh, ease of doing business uh, i i remember in my days uh, doing the taxation registration was a nightmare there was there were different taxes sales tax uh, the india tax the national tax and the excise and the octroi and so on and so forth and it, 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 that was the task now now gst registration is a few days so uh, i think uh, that's uh, hashal do you want to i I, I, i think i'm completely agree with you because uh, uh, you know today we are here because of our government policy they are doing really good job they want us to compete because when you know uh, uh, usually i was hiring i think 3 years back few developers and i still remember my conversion over there i was in college and i was getting interview and they were like okay we want to join this company and this is our profile and okay and my simple question 
do you really think you are capable enough to compete with the person who is working in london because technically you are working same thing the person in london they are doing 9 to 5 the same task and you are but we don't think like a people we still think okay london or maybe us or maybe other country they are doing something different no guys we are doing something great and they are learning out of it i'm sorry maybe one of my friend if he will listen this he will kill me <laughs> but i believe yes we indians are doing really great job and the day will come we will set a benchmark people will learn out of us this is what our culture there's there's one good question from the audience uh, what are the key things to consider before launching a fintech startup uh, uh, of course uh, it's a good question to answer uh, yeah yeah thank you for that <laughs> simple very simple answer first you really want to start your startup make sure for that the key point is just you know you should make sure about understanding things don't talk about any key metrics any rubrics okay these are the points no first thing second when you talk about the startup whether it is fintech it's a um, food tech ad tech whatever you should focus on your work maybe for next 2 3 years or whatever the time you might not get a client you might not get a, a good enough profit you should prepare for that so the one key matrix i will give over here is surviving skill if you think you can't survive don't go into it. that's what i said earlier you are a person who is joining like indian army right so there is this the things are in a different way but here you are different so surviving skills is something ready for the failures till today i am always eager to get other failures if there is something is getting failed, i am so happy i don't enjoy my success i always enjoy my failures so this kind of things you can bring in yourself i'm sure you will get a successful startup in your journey Alpesh, uh, this is Harshal here uh, uh, again with Adapt Me. Uh, it was amazing webinar and uh, some very interesting conversations going right now. And I was listening, and I had a question. Um, you mentioned blockchain, and uh, right, rightly, it's uh, another topic for maybe another webinar. But um, is is it going to become mainstream, and when, in your opinion? So because you know we hear mix of things, uh, regulatory. uh aspects not so defined but yet it is quite exciting of um, technology so what's your opinion on that i, I was wondering okay let me give you an example for that let's talk about 2008 9 or maybe 12 you might heard one news and uh, so you know national portals a uh, lot of market association people who have a job uh, who have a shops they are fighting with the government against the e-commerce am i right i'm sure you everyone remember those time they were fighting they were like okay amazon is yes, you know yeah. it's the worst thing in our country and i don't want to give the one of the largest player uh, which sold out to reliance now jio now they were against to that policy of e-commerce despite of giving the name of uh, with the respect but you know that time people were taking e-commerce like okay this is something bad thing we never buy anything talk about the pandemic Give me the one damn per person who did not buy from e-commerce. The process can be different, the portal can be different, but somehow, even though government were taking initiative, don't go anywhere. Please buy from e-commerce. So, at the same way, when we are talking about the blockchain, yes, there are disruptions. You know, there are people are like, you know, they are not clear about blockchain now. They are thinking, okay, blockchain can give you in this direction. blockchain chain can change this that yes we are waiting from the government regulatory boards a uh, few governments like a telangana government they are doing really great they have early adopter in blockchain technologies but today and that's what i said that's why i mention even if you want to be something in your career nobody can beat or you want to be a pioneer go with the blockchain start reading when we talk about the elon musk he was not aware about the space craft but he start learning and today the one of the best aircraft companies from elon musk yes uh, thanks for the answer i think that uh, thank you thank you so great, great, great. i think yes. we are uh, almost uh, approaching the end of the uh, time slot uh, i we really thank you uh, mr kalpesh rajswami for uh, giving a uh, good amount of time for uh, the students and the attendees and uh, the professionals who have joined uh, 
We have seen few people going in and out from the due to internet issues. This will be aired over YouTube uh, for a viewing at a later date. Uh, and uh, we will we'll make sure that we uh, take your uh, and disturb you again for certain topics and, uh, and take your that, expert advice. Apart from that, if anyone from your uh, students and if they want to connect and they have some query, I will try my best. They can just write me up on uh, LinkedIn. I will definitely reply them whatever the best I can do. So I'm always available and I'm looking forward to see a huge success of your startup. And hope so next Thank down to one, we will see great things together. Yes. Uh, so uh, uh, for the audience, we will be uh, having a few of the similar courses and uh, the modules on launched on our platform, which is called Adapt Me. Uh, stay tuned and like, share, subscribe uh, our social media handles, as well as uh, whenever you need uh, to connect with uh, the speaker, we'll let us know and we'll, uh, we'll be happy to connect uh, for the betterment of the startup ecosystem. Thank you. Thank you once again and have a nice weekend ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.